Hey everyone, welcome back to the Easy Touch series by Chlorine King. In this video, we're going to talk about assigning circuit names and circuit functions. It's important to make sure these steps are done correctly so that Easy Touch knows what pieces of equipment to communicate with when we're trying to automate things. So the first thing we're going to go over is assigning circuit names. Now think of circuit names as the pieces of equipment you're trying to control, you know, like pool pump, booster pump, uh, pool light, floor cleaner, auto cleaner, you know, those types of things. The, the Easy Touch comes with 92 different pre-programmed names. So the likelihood of you installing a piece of equipment that this thing doesn't have or already have a name for is highly unlikely. However, if that's the case, I can show you how to create a custom circuit name. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit the menu button. We're going to scroll down to settings. Hit select. And we're going to scroll down again to circuit names, hit select. And now there's, you see there's 18 different circuits here. So one through nine are actual circuits that use relay to operate. And then the other 10 through 18 or the other nine are virtual circuits that are just uh, feature circuits that don't actually use a relay. So you can see here, we got a spawn here, a pool. So it's a dual body. Uh, this uh, next one is a pool light. And cleaner. So if you if you install a booster pump, for instance, let's use circuit number five. So we hit select, and then what we're going to do is go through here. Now these are the 92 different uh, names. We go here to booster pump, hit enter on that. So now we got the booster pump at least recognized here uh, on this specific relay. So let's go ahead and go back. Now say we need to create a custom circuit name. What we go what we do is come down here to custom names and I already went ahead and uh, labeled this pest you know it's it's time consuming uh, just because you see right here like this is what you'll have to change out so I went ahead and adjusted it but if you wanted to adjust it you just hit the select and then you go to each respective space and so we'll set that up as test and then hit back so if we want to see it pop up we come here to circuit names and then um, go to circuit one and then now we just find test so we know on circuit one the spall is going to be named test for whatever reason so uh, let's go ahead and change that back to spa but that is how you create a custom name and implement it into uh, the easy touch system now after you make the custom name, it's available for selection in, in schedules, two-speed pump, IS4 and IS10 remotes, and the quick touch menus, just as an FYI. So let's go down here to circuit functions. Now think of circuit functions as special extra uh, logic and, and things that uh, a circuit function can do. So for instance, for that booster pump, let me show you how to set it first, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. So let's go to... Uh, booster pump. Now the easy touch comes with 14 preset uh, mass or uh, circuit functions and I'll go over those more in detail in another video. But let's go ahead and set this to master cleaner. So and then we'll set it to freeze protection. I'll go over all this now. So the master cleaner uh, circuit function. So think of it this way. You want to set up an automatic pool cleaner pump like the booster pump there you would assign the circuit type master cleaner because with this cleaner logic, the cleaner pump will force the main pool pump on and the cleaner pump will start after a delay of five minutes in order to protect this booster pump which is programmed. The cleaner pump would also automatically shut off whenever the spa is turned on or the solar switched on. So this is a cool little thing that's automated to help protect your equipment. And uh, let's see. Now in regards to the freeze mode, you see that here? The freeze protection switches all the circuits on that have the freeze protection enabled. And it's supposed to protect uh, the pipes from freezing over if it starts getting closer to freezing, which is about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, the system will switch all the circuits on and rotate all the valves or valve actuators every 15 minutes again to keep the water flowing uh, to protect it from freezing. So that's a great safety feature. So that is a quick demonstration of circuit names, circuit functions, and also how to create custom names 
in order to get the Easy Touch system here to recognize the pool equipment you're installing out on your pads. So stay tuned to the next video, and I look forward to talking to them. Have a great day.